I'm naming that one R E K T. Welcome back. Wrecked. Welcome back. All right. Hey. Now, the fun part. Hey. Because there's no more enemies here. Yep. Might as well shoot the tank. Oh. Shoot the tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that. Although chances are uh, you probably couldn't do sufficient damage to destroy it. Because this has a lot of magic in it. I just take a whole bunch of All my grenades. <laughs> yeah. And just throw. <laughs> okay, cool. We talked about this area here. With when Sai went there but didn't go there. That has the two potions of fire resistance. You end up going in a different direction. Uh, that's okay. This area let's go okay, so next is gonna be this area here. So, B. Troughs for the liquid metal and uh, heating of the same, of course. Anvils of various sizes, hammers of every type, uh, tongs, chisels, punches, drifts, pullers, and many other smithing tools uh, cover the various tables and the grounds nearby, having been scattered in search of treasure and, of course, in the recent combat as well from Fireball and whatnot. Um, Superheated metal is pulled up through uh, from the mines. It's pulled up through the connection tubes that go down into the ground uh, for the great big bats. Um, this area is of particular interest. We'll talk about that next. This area houses the masterwork craft tools. There are enough tools here in case you don't happen to have any of this, uh, to create or to, to, to kind of set up 20 sets of masterwork smithing tools and up to 10 sets of masterwork tinkering tools. Uh, either one grants a plus one bonus to smithing or tinkering. Checks. I'm going to take a set of that each. Uh, in this area, not the right game for that. And it is. <laughs> I could use a set of those. Yeah. In this area, on the center table. Attached to the table, there is a chest that is about the size of uh, this. I like so chests. Just just good. That would just be some shit. It is. <laughs> you don't know. It's like it's showing Go a mimic. I knew, I knew you were gonna... Go poke. Yeah. <laughs> it is both a chest and a mimic until it is open. Um, Stay up. Stay up. It shows no damage, but the table around it actually does show a little bit like some scratches because it's also made of that magic. Definitely mimic. Um, as though it was attempted to be removed from the table and has been unsuccessfully so. Does it have any symbols on it? It does. It is just covered in runes of abjuration. Oh. Protection. Uh, it. On the top of the chest, there is an intentional opening that looks like it has been struck by an axe blade. Like there's an intentionally cut uh, opening. Doesn't look like it was hit, but it looked like that the opening was made into the chest. I got this. <laughs> um, there is no visible lock. So what what do you do? I'm gonna grab my axe my, and reform it into an axe. Okay. And put it in a slot. You hear a click, and the box lid is. Uh, it's open. trying to eat us all. <laughs> it's open, like it's it's it it doesn't pop open, but it is unlocked. Just. Yeah. So I open the chest. You open the chest, and inside of it is an item that looks somewhat like a uh, chisel. It's 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 basically like a, a long spike. I'm gonna hold the uh, rod out. Does it? It does. Got this it. is the spike of apple schnar. Schnar. Nah. You can do so that every time it's said. <laughs> Those two pieces. I regret there. making this name. That's super fun. <laughs> you shouldn't. We're having a good time. Schnar. All right. Another big thing that you notice is that uh, to the west, as you're kind of looking through it, uh, 
there is an opening that was clearly originally like a secret door because it looks very much like the surrounding wall. Uh, there's a secret door that is open that leads, it's it's a rough hewn path that leads downward um, to somewhere. Don't know exactly where that goes. Um, give me, because uh, I imagine that you guys are going to take some time to fully investigate everything yes. here. Uh, give me, everybody, give me investigation rolls. Woo! That's it. I did good. Elric did a wonderful. 24. Okay. 17. 8, 17. 8 for Elfgar. 15 for 25 for Shrek. 25. Okay. 8. 8. Excellent. Is that with uh, So, let's see. 10. <laughs> <laughs> you guys... Alright. There's really too much else to find here. Like, in the various... I am taking some of those tools out. Work areas. I understand. So, yeah. You're welcome to do that. It's my shit. It's you my are house. more than welcome to do that. On the vault door, which I will get over here. Um, by the way, the okay, so the barrels. The barrels, um, choose barrels with taps and labels with different materials used in smithing. Such as oil. One of them uh, is actually labeled dragon's blood. Uh, one is labeled borax, which is used for uh, cleaning steel. Also, bug repellent. Um, diamond powder Ooh. is one, Ooh. and then one, of course, is uh, filled with technos. Diamond powder. There's there's spells that call for diamond powder. There are. Alric's gonna take some. Uh, so you, you turn the valve. It is empty. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. The entryway to the vault. Because we're going to get to the vault now. The entryway to the vault is sealed off with a massive vault door. She had like a big gear. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Does it have one of those little like shift It says 111. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, vault tech. You don't want to do Bethesda. You're making good games. That's right. Uh, I started playing that again recently. It's so freaking What we good. need is more Skyrim ports, though. <coughs> At the center of the vault, there is not a wheel handle kind of situation. There is uh, a sort of inset gap or a hole, whatever, uh, that is in the shape of a hammer. Yeah, I know it goes here. We just, we're missing a piece. Well, you. There's the other thing too. Hmm. Potentially. Well, true, but I give it a shot. Do we? Do we want to go in right now? Do we or have do time we? to rest? Technically, probably not. Bear in mind what's going on outside. Yeah, battle outside. Sure. If you rest for eight hours, and you can do that. Everybody's going to die. Chances are the battle up top will not go well. All right. I'm gonna, it, how's everybody doing on health? Uh, I'm good. I am a little rough. <laughs> You're good. You didn't even get hit. I did get hit, but I only got hit once for like 32. I'm at 108. I'm the fireball. Um, I've got... Elfgar's at full. I have, I have, I have three, uh, three super potions. I'm just trying to decide if I should waste the mass heal or just the mass cure wounds. Well, you also you have found several healing potions. You could yeah, burn the say. healing potions first. Yeah, yeah I would yeah, burn the potions. That way you can hold, hold on to your spell slots. I think... Because there's, there's also... Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Better idea. Okay. How much does the superior heal potion do? 40. Uh, superior is 40, yeah. Okay, cool. Supreme is A is 60. I'm going to burn one of mine. Okay. I have two more in case. So, so while while you all are, are drinking potions, uh, and you I'm can gonna drink take from those the bag or I'm going to take those potions of fire resistance. Okay. Cool. I'm going to take one of them right now. Okay, that's for an hour. 
So so I don't think we'll be in this battle for an hour against the Archduke of Hell. No, that's uh, true. Before, Hell we, before we go in, though, I do have a plan. I'm just going to see if it works. I doubt it will. What does the Buddha bag have as far as potions? Uh, you can tell, by the way, that this is not the primary vault. Oh, god damn. Oh, never mind then. This is... I forgot to this mention that. This is a vault. This is a vault. Not oh. the Princess vault. This is in another vault. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your Archduke of Greed is in another vault. <laughs> God damn it, Bowser. Um, so yeah, I guess then I'll just go ahead and uh, morph the axe into a hammer, put it in the slot, see if it works. Fits perfect. And turn. And it turns very easily. And then, of course, the vault door swings. <laughs> let's talk treasure. Let's, let's do. <laughs> let's do talk treasure. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> keep in mind, anything you find is yours to keep. I'm going to let y'all have it because you're helping. Within this vault is the following treasure. I'm not planning to work too. 6,400 copper. 6,100 silver. And 10,800 gold. Which are pretty good stacks of coins. Okay. It's like Harry Potter vault. Yes. Any plans? There is no. There is one vial of universal solvent. Don't see how that'll come in handy, but okay. There is one scroll that will probably go to Elric. Yeah, take uh, one scroll of Feeble Mind. Ooh. That is an eighth level spell. He's gonna work on transcribing that when he has a chance. And again, uh, does anybody have? Does does identify only work per item? Yeah, it's one item. Okay, cool. Pretty sure our work has identify because all wizards should. So does. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, how many times can he cast it? Depends on how many slots he has in fucking Eli. What level spell is it? It's a first it's level spell. Yeah, it's a, oh, it's a, it's then he has. Level. So I can cast it three more times. Yeah, at first at a uh, 18th level, he's got four first level spells he can use. Okay, you want to kind of split that up, two and two. And how many items are we identifying? Four. Two and two. Sure. Okay. Okay. There are four more items, and then we'll get into some other things that are in the vault. And I'm writing are... everything down just so everyone knows. Okay. One ion stone Ooh. of greater absorption. Shit. Uh, which has 38 charges left. Which means that it can absorb a number of spell levels equal to 38, assuming it is not a ninth level spell. Really wish some of us had eight, some attunement slots. Eight through, it does require attunement, of course. Yeah, it's not One spell. set of plate armor of etherealness. Oh, shit. What does that do? That's some nice stuff. Let's you That's become nice. ethereal. What's that smell like? Uh, which is very nice. Uh, one, <laughs> and I rolled really well on these. I rolled from the table. Oh, which table? Uh, the e table. Some of them were from E, some of them were, were from I. I? Yeah. Fuck. You guys are level 18 and 19. What do you? What else do you think you're going to get? Like stupid good items. More loot. One rod of lordly might. Oh, fuck. That is a rod that can become any kite, like all kinds of different types of weapons, which is really neat. Uh, I can do some other things too that's pretty handy, like paralyze and shit. It's pretty dope. And one, I hope this never becomes relevant for you guys, but <laughs> I rolled it so it's there. One talisman of the sphere. Talisman of the sphere allows you to be able to control, or more easily control, spheres of annihilation. Yeah. Which are I'm gonna give that to Span. Scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like he has one of those things. I know he does. He probably should. Also, within the vault are some golden statues. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Two. That. There are two solid gold lion statues, worth a very substantial amount and very heavy. I don't want to sell them. I want to get away from them. No, they're just statues. They're just no, they're statues. not. Yes, they are. They were. They were mentioned in one of the notes. Well, I haven't got to the other ones yet. <laughs> Chillax. 
There are three golden statues of dwarves that are incredibly well detailed. One of them is in uh, the sort of gear of, the f of, of, of a forge worker. Leather apron. Well, it's gold at this point, but leather apron. The, the steel cap boots, uh, goggles, etc. Um, one of them is One of them is dressed as a guard, wearing exquisitely designed armor, full plate armor. And another one is actually dressed in what might be studded leather, but it's gold, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, looks almost to be of a, a, like a ranger type, and there's a, uh, a scar, a heavy scar across his left eye. The guard is a female dwarf. And these are intricately detailed, like realistic. So we can crack them open and get to the gooey center. Suck them up to a straw. <laughs> How big is my barrel? Elric. Holding. Very large. Uh, yeah. So you can probably feel the statues in there. Give me an arcana. I'm just really worried about these statues, man. Well, that's why he's going to look at them. Put them in the barrel. Like anybody anybody them. else can make arcana if they wish it. Oh, oh boy! Notes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Got six. So that is. 30. 30. <laughs> 19. Wow. Plus 11. Holy crap baskets. I'm, gonna, mind. I'm gonna not going to roll. <laughs> I'm going to call a note. Okay. Elric, <coughs> who will relay this information. That was a goal. Seriously thinks that these dwarves might have once been actual dwarves. But have been somehow turned to gold. Gooey Center. Ulfgar's gonna just hesitantly walk up. Greater Restoration. On which one? No, but the gold! The gold, Ulfgar! <laughs> <laughs> the gold! <laughs> Considering where we are... So there's the, like, forge guy, there's the guard I wrote, I wrote girl. Her I wrote her down. Okay. Um, the gold! <laughs> Don't we waste... We go it. for the guard. The guard. The female guard. Okay. This is great restoration on these, these uh, statues. So, won't even heal, brother. Wolfgar approaches the middle statue and is like hesitantly prays out to Arusha. And you see the gold begin to shift and change. And before you stands a live dwarf. Holy shit! Uh, it worked. But the gold. And she's like. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Ulfgar Frostbeard, and I hold up the axe. She kneels. Uh, As you do. The king. <laughs> please, please rise. I, I've just got here. <laughs> My man. Pussy smasher. Pushy smasher. Pushy smasher. Pushy So. I'm a bear. What is the last thing you <laughs> Didn't you lose in the arena? Fighting a big. <laughs> fat. <laughs> Uh, demon, I guess. Not under the it was a monk. What gear was that? <laughs> Fuck the shit up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> insane. So, she gives you the year. It's like, oh, it <laughs> And it's... A long it's, fucking time ago. It's a long fucking time ago. It's like <laughs> a little over 2,000 years ago. It's like, I hate to break it to you, lass. It's been over 2,000 years since you fought that demon. you mean? The demon won. She kind of looks to her left and right. But that's what uh, the tail. I'm the beast was done. You, you might need to sit down. <laughs> she does. We just finished coming. is Bellifra. Bellifra Deep Smiter. 
How that? What do I spell that? B e l i f r a. Deep spider. Yes. Is that one of the families? Yeah. The forge master there is Orthal Ingot Master. And the ranger is Harshk, Dark Hunter. Damn, these dwarf and their literal names. <laughs> Harshk what? Dark Hunter. He was mostly outside surveying the lands for evil and the like. Night time. Why are they gold? You are gold too. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that the demon did it. I don't know for certain. I like gold. <laughs> why, why are these? Why do these other non dwarves wear your sigil? Because they are the only ones willing to help. Well. Those others willing, but they're fighting a horde of demons outside. I'm a bear. Really? A horde of demons. <laughs> well, you know what I'm. Who can for that matter? They're teeming up. Fair out. enough. And with that, <laughs> she she says, "Fair enough." She runs out the room. All right. Presumably, if if you follow her a little bit, she's heading up. She's probably going to go outside and fight some demons. That's all she really understands how to do. So I understand that. <laughs> it's been two thousand years. Before she leaves, and like before you kind of relay that information to her, and she kind of bounces out. She, uh, you talk about, she she was a guard. In the mines. That's the entryway that yeah. she kind of can point out for you. Um, um, I do have in my bag of holding my old necklace of prayer beads because mm -hmm. I never got rid of it. I just did. I just unattuned to it. There are two beads of Greater Restoration on that. That you can throw. I can just smash them on the other two statues. Oh, I'm shit. going to do that. Nice. <laughs> okay. They, too... Because I don't want to waste any more spells. <clears throat> That's fair. They, too... Um, the gold kind of... From from where you break it on them... Uh, it, it ripples it, out. It, it, like, ripples out, and they're no longer gold, and they're, like... Uh... <laughs> Harsk, the the arranger, was is, is like almost swings at you. Holds up, but axe. then like notices the axe. He says, "Oh, the king." Hey, Ulfgar for Allspeard. It's like people Ulfgar. you should know. Ulfgar. I don't know this guy. I know of no. I have Ulfgar. no friends with him. There's it's been over two thousand years <laughs> since you were last awake. He he sits down. <laughs> they both. Do, I'm guessing. Yeah. There's a lot to catch up on. I pull out a, I pull out one of the casks and just give them both a mug of ale. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I've got a shit ton yeah. of ale. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they drink it down. It's been fermenting for about two thousand years. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I know. It's very good. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what we family's there for. <laughs> uh, stronger than I remember it. Well, it it has been aging for a very long time. Yes. So I catch him up on well, that's yeah, the one that everything that I told her. Um, Orthol, like Orthol. Oh yeah. As <laughs> as you're talking, like, like, glances out of the vault and sees Shame. that the forge is like all a shambles, <laughs> and just starts like, what the fuck? <laughs> so it's cursed of a storm. Demons. He storms out and starts rearranging. Everything. Orthol, I think there's better things to be doing right now. No. There. Okay. <laughs> You're hiding. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I am the Forge Master. I know that. Of this. It disheartens me to see it in such disarray. I can understand that, but there's demons to deal with. I. I make the weapons. Fair enough. <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah. Back to work then. They fight with the weapons. Yeah. And he goes up, and he's and his his dwarven is, and really all all three of their dwarven old is dialect. old dialect, like using ye and thou and all that kind of shit. Uh, and it's just it's hard, even for those of you that speak dwarven, to really fully understand it. I mean, you you can you you understand it enough. 
to be to them it sounds like we're speaking future slang yes yeah um, it's, it's like uh, what was it the dark knight returns with the weird fucking people in the future yeah <laughs> it was time okay cool that's a good place to end it uh you have freed three ancient dwarves hopefully uh, there's more statues somewhere I haven't gotten that far in my writing yet, so we yeah, will see. Give me my gold. <laughs> Good to have some uh, ancient ambassadors to. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna stop. Help. Yes. We're gonna give them those gold lion statues.